camera like our next one was used to forge fake IDs for the escape from Stalag Luft III during World War II. Our next camera is the Balda Juela. It was made in Germany from 1933 to 1939. You can tell this one is after 1936 because it has this little keyhole uh, cable release holder here. The actual camera used uh, to forge the IDs during the Great Escape was made in 1939. It had a body mounted shutter release and that was only an option in 1939. It also had the slower f6.3 lens. This one has a slightly faster uh, f4.5 stops down to f32 it's just labeled anastigmat um, in a balda shutter uh, they were all 10.5 centimeters 105 millimeters focusing from two meters to infinity the shutter is an ever set you don't have to cock it uh, it has speeds of 125th 150th 1 100th of a second plus bulb and time some had a Pronto with the same specs, uh, the same speeds, and they also had a self-timer. This takes 120 film, it uses this red window here on the back as your film counter. There were dual frame versions of this uh, available. They had two windows on the back and then uh, extra bars in the, in the framing finder so that you could shoot six by nine centimeter or you could shoot uh, six by four and a half centimeters. This one just has the ordinary uh, double frame finder and it also has this brilliant finder on the uh, shutter assembly and it swivels for landscape or for portrait. It's got this leveling foot, it's kind of nifty, and it has two of the larger tripod sockets, 3 8 inch tripod sockets. I've got an adapter in the landscape one. Variations of this camera were all over the place during its production run. Some that weren't dual format had a slider for covering the red window. Then there was the dual version with a slider. <clears throat> and of course it had the, the mask here and the mask inside for shooting four and a half centimeters. Uh, they would come with a Pronto or a Balda shutter. I read that later ones uh, also had a Compure or a Pronto or two as an option. Early ones had a winding knob where this one has the film wind key. 1939, like I mentioned, uh, had a body mounted shutter button as an option. It didn't come by that default. Even the decorations are different. Some have this screwed on uh, distance plate. Some have this uh, diamond shaped kind of art deco pattern. Some have sort of swooshes where this one has diamonds. This one where the uh, distance is on this screwed on plate and then the pointer is screwed on to the front of the lens surround. Some of them actually had the distance on the lens surround and then the index mark was on the shutter body itself. The lens, this one's just labeled anastigmat. Some were labeled Juella anastigmat. Um, some cameras had black trim where this one has, I'm not sure if that's chrome or polished nickel, but where this one's shiny metal, some of them were black. And during my research, I had never heard of it, but I saw a picture of one of these that had a Rodenstock Trinar 10.5 centimeter lens. Um, other than that, it was the same. It was f6.3, so it was the same. So, like a, the camera companies in Rochester, New York, around the same period were kind of the same. Whatever parts were available went into the camera and tons and tons of options. So, I really like shooting with this camera. It's in pretty good condition. The shutter is accurate enough. All I had to do was I used a little bit of black RTV silicone 
on the peaks of the bellows because it had some light leaks. But other than that, it was just fine. So I may run another roll through this guy, and I will see you then.